Hello? Hey, what's going on? Robert, what are you doing? your coach is a very uh, optimistic person. Yep. Uh, would you consider yourself an optimistic person? I think I'm very optimistic, yeah. I think I've lived my life like that for a very long time. So I would, I would say that, yeah. How is it interacting with him every day? You know, he, comes, he seems like he comes in with a lot of pep in his step. Um, it's good, man. He, he brings really good energy to the building. And um, I think a lot of guys follow suit with that. So it's really good having him bring that, bring that energy. I've got to know, did you get your Tesla truck? I did. Got my Tesla truck. Got it all fixed up, man, looking all pretty. Um, so, yeah, I've been driving that thing recently. How long was the process and when did you get it? You know, after I kind of did my little introduction when I got signed or whatever, somebody reached out instantly and got me one. So it literally took like two weeks, three weeks, and I had it. So. What color? Um, it's black now, seven black. Robert uh, came from a team that ran the ball pretty well yep. last year, and um, Dave, as Canales has said, you know, they want to focus on running the ball. It's got to be a mainstay here. Yep. And he's not going to get away from that. Have you noticed that mentality so far in this training camp? Um, yeah, I have, man. I think we come out firing with the runs instant, instantly. Um, you know, and that's what I think we got a lot of guys on that O line that can run block really well. Um, so, yeah, man, it's, it's been going good today. You know, it's first day pass, so things worked. Some things didn't work, um, but it was good, man. It was a good competition after the day, and it looked good in some parts. I feel like you got the line to kind of dominate some teams on the ground. Um, I think we do. I mean, I, I won't, you know, I won't get on into all that, but I think we got really good guys that that's willing to compete and be gritty and you know run the football. How is Corbin at center? I mean, he's never played that before on a regular basis. Yeah. But as he's made this transition, what's he looked like? You can even tell, I, I can tell that he, I would feel like he was the center here last year. You know what I mean? He was coming into this program, playing with him beside him. I would think that he was the center, you know what I mean, along. So, all along, um, he does a really good job, man, of communicating, setting everything up, having everybody on the same page, man. Um, he's, he's looked good. He's done good. That communication, is that something that happens when you say that? Do you mean in the huddle or is that in the meeting room? And it um, it's everywhere, man. It's, it's in the meeting room of how we like to play with each other and also on the field once we see a look that we got a block, we all communicate what we need to do on that. Robert, as somebody who's coming from outside the building, have you noticed kind of a tangible motivation on some of the guys who are the holdovers to kind of rid yourself of what happened, or rid themselves, I should say, of what happened last year with the record? Um... I think it's a new year, man. I think a lot of guys have kind of stated that. It's a new year, it's a new team. Um, it's always, no team is ever the same. Um, so this is a new team. Um, I think a, the guys feel that way. Uh, and they kind of speak that way. So uh, no, I, mean, I think that's, 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 that's kind of in the past. So we'll see what it is. Are you guys doing rookie talent shows? Um, we got a couple guys get up there and uh, you know show their talent with singing and stuff like that during the day. So uh, um, we got some good guys. And we also got some um, tomato throwers, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> It's, 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 it's a mix. What have you learned about Bryce that you didn't know before you got here? Um, that he's a playmaker, which I kind of saw that in college a little bit. I watched a little bit of his game in college. But uh, he's, a guy that, he's a guy that he likes to he likes to make plays. You know what I mean? That's, that's, not, that's, not a, that's, not a, that's not a bad thing at all. We love that. Um, he, he, he likes to make plays, man. That's, that, that's what we need. So uh, he, he's tough. He can sling the ball. You know what I mean? Like put it in tight windows. He's... Yeah, I didn't know much about this conference at all anyway, so I didn't watch much of it. But watching him and getting to be in front of him, I'm really impressed with what I see from him. Why do you say he likes to make plays? You've seen something that makes you feel that. Um, he likes to make plays. He can make like he can make plays that, you know, everybody everybody's different. Everybody had their own thing. Um, you know, I've been with Tua Tagovailoa for four years, who you know sits back, throw the ball instantly, get the ball out, do his thing. Bryce can Bryce can do things that Tua can't do. Bryce can roll out, da da da. Which Tua can do that, but you know what I mean? It's different different aspects of the game and you know to a not to a Bryce does a really good job at that so I'm, I'm impressed by that you know I didn't know that so I'm impressed by that. Is that something you've had to adjust to when he does hold the ball and kind of the play breaks down a little bit it seems like that's been happening a fair amount. Uh, no 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 it's, it's it's right on schedule with him you know what I mean like we we, we hold it down and he's out and he makes a play like it's it's really right on schedule it's, it looks good it's we're not holding it longer than we need to like it's as the one, that's why I'm like, is that's why I'm really impressed by saying that by him. Like, that's really, really impressed. He's a really young, young guy that can really make plays. I'm, I have, I'm impressed by that. Robert, you came in with Damian Lewis. What have you learned about him through the first uh, week of training camp? Um, that he is a stud. He's, uh, you know, he's one of those old school, uh, one of those old school big body guards. Man, just put his hands on you, get physical, get gritty. Um, 
likes to play in the phone booth type of guy, just a big physical strong man. Have you been able to connect with him as a person off the field as well? Um, yeah, so we actually live not too, uh, not too far from each other actually, like walking distance, very close. Um, we haven't been to each other's house yet, but um, we, we, we talk and we, you know, we kind of talk about this thing, what we want to do, how we want it to look, and how we, you know what I mean, going to push each other and stuff like that off the field and on the field. So, um, yeah, we, we, we've grown a relationship for sure. Quieter guy, you would say? Um, he's a quieter guy, but today, you know, he actually spoke up. He, he speaks up. He, he speaks his mind, too. I think he said he's been a, the old guy in the room um, since his second year, which is crazy. Um, so, he said he's been, you know what I mean, that vocal guy. and kind of hear a little bit from him, so. How has Thank putting you. on pads today changed the level of intensity out there? I, I tell people, all the time, I think it's the same type of game. I think we all play the same game, fast, physical, you know, especially in the trenches. Um, but I will say today felt a little different in the past. I think Derek got a little heavier, you know what I mean? He's, uh, he got a little heavier, uh, but it, it's good, man. We, we're flying around. It's fun to compete against him. You know, every day. So as as I think we'll be all right. Coach has talked about the competition between you and Derek on the field. What's it like practicing against that guy on a day to day basis? Um, he'll he'll get me better for sure. Um, you know, I think I do really good things that you know what I mean that may give him issues, not issues, but like that that'll help him get his game right. And I think he do a lot of good things that'll help me get my game right. So I think it's iron sharp and iron iron. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's fun. It's, it's like a competition every day. I know if I don't bring it, he gonna get me. Maybe if he don't bring it, I get him. So it's a it's a good competition. What do you remember about him in the game last year? I played him a couple times in my career. I think he's all. I think him and uh, Dexter Lawrence are two guys, two big, strong guys that can do uh, things that a lot of guys can't do with their strength. You know what I mean? A lot of guys are big and strong, but can't do what Derek Brown and Dexter Lawrence do. I think he's one of those guys that can do that. Um, so yeah, it's it's it's, it's about. Today, I, I felt what I felt in the games for the last couple of years, so it was it was impressive. Ah, you over to draw me, bro? <laughs> 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 All right, I'm taking that home, put it on my wall, man. Thanks, man. That was impressive. Thank you, Hutch. All right, thank you, guys.